Hi guys, that's us back our holiday and we had such a lovely time. Thank you so much to everybody who left me really lovely comments. I wasn't actually able to reply to MJ's comments or even see them at the time and I couldn't get the videos up when we were there because if you can hear little clippy clippy feet, Dora is sort of wandering about. Um, I wasn't able to get the videos up at the time because we didn't have Wi-Fi in the cottage. It was so old fashioned that we didn't actually have Wi-Fi so I wasn't able to go onto YouTube at all. And right now I'm actually filming on a different camera. It's the camera that I used on holiday and I'm going to show you like the stuff that I got, like the whole stuff that I didn't manage to show you when we were on holiday. But I'm using a different camera and it's alright if I'm like speaking right into it because I can see in the lens but I don't know how it is for like showing things. I used it on holiday for like showing things but I was like holding it and there's Dora jumped up beside me. Um, you know like holding things and pointing it down but I've not done it where I'm like sitting in front of the camera showing you things so I fear that my eyes may sort of like this like look because I have to look at the screen to see if you can see what I'm showing you basically so if my eyes are kind of darting about I'm really sorry it's going to take me a wee while to get used to this camera um yeah I've got quite a few things that I bought that I wasn't able to show you my mum came down she thought she was going to stay for one night but she actually stayed for three and it was really really can you see in the background look she's trying to get on the windowsill behind the curtain to look out she likes watching it's night time and she likes watching the foxes sometimes there's wee foxes in the garden she likes watching them anyway um hello dora yes she just can't not get attention for two minutes are you coming to say hello are you coming to say hello come and say hello then no licking oh she loves to cozy and she's just like a teddy anyway i think she's going to sit here for the video anyway what was i saying yes my mum came and she stayed for three nights and it was really really lovely to have her um so i didn't get much filming in the last couple of days i did film a little bit but it was on the beach and it was really really windy so i didn't bother putting that up so the last clip is the last sort of vlog holiday vlog and then this is the haul of the stuff that i didn't get to show you and then at the end of this clip this is a big ramble i'm sorry this is a big introduction um and the end of this clip i've got so, well, I think they're really, really funny clips to show you. I'll explain a wee bit more about that in the end and I'll just jump right in and show you the stuff that I've got to haul. I've literally got a big box at the side of me and it's no particular order. If I've showed any of this stuff before, I'm really sorry. I tried to keep the stuff that I didn't sort of show you separated, but I don't know if maybe in packing and stuff, I might be sort of repeating myself. I'm not 100% sure, but if I have, I'm sorry. So I'll jump right in and show you. I've got quite a few things from the charity shop so I'll start with that. It'll probably be mixed like charity shop and little boutiques and stuff like that because like I said it's all kind of jumbled up. This is all, I should have probably unwrapped this before I started filming, sorry about this. There we go. This is a little jug and it's a price on it. This was £3.50 which the charity shops here are a lot dearer than the ones I go to here or the ones Mark normally goes to and it's this little jug. It's just really cute. It's like a dinky little size. I thought this would be nice for the kitchen or even like on the breakfast table with like orange juice. See there's my eyes going to the side there. I'm sorry. Um, Yeah just some orange juice in it and it is like a peachy kind of colour but it's I don't know there's light is really awkward I've got like a little light sort of plugged into the laptop that is beside me and it's kind of casting a weird sort of light on this I don't know if you'll be able to see it it's got this nice flower design and it's not like completely peach but it's like white with little peach flecks in it it's sort of a bit unusual and I just thought it was really nice and I really like the sort of ornate carved handle and I really liked it so I got that and the next thing I picked up is this it is a little what do you call that slate like um little slate thing and it's got this little scene here with the little toadstools and the little hedgehogs and I picked this up because it's got a little bit in the back that you can hang it up on the wall and I think I might put this in my kitchen and I got this because I don't know if I've mentioned before my daughter actually has an African pygmy hedgehog I know that's not what these are but as soon as I saw the hedgehog I thought I have to pick it up because I knew she would love it and it's the little hedgehogs here and I think this is going to go in my kitchen and this was two pounds also from the charity shop and next thing is this oh my goodness this has lost its little lid this was also from the chad shop and this was £2.50 and I thought it was a little thing for like a candle you know like the little tea light candles to go in and it would just sort of come through here but my mum thinks that this bit here might heat up a little bit too much to put a candle in but I think it might take a little tea light candle and it just I'm trying not to clang it too much and it just looks like this. I just thought it was really, really pretty. Another thing you could do with it is maybe put like some cotton wool balls in it and sort of drench them in sort of, what do you call it, essential oils or something like that and just have it as like a little air freshener in your bathroom or something. I thought that would be cute. Just thought that was really pretty. And the next thing I got is this. I literally have 
when I do my house tour, which is coming very, very soon, I'm going to start doing it. In fact, we've started, I've started filming. I did a little vlog when I came back. Um, I really quite enjoyed the vlogs. I hope, um, I, hopefully I'll get better at doing them. I'm a bit sort of new to it, but I really did enjoy doing them. I thought it was fun. Um, and I'm going to do my house tour, but I've actually we've just started decorating my son's bedroom and I'm sort of filming that the before, the during and the after. So I'll give you a little sort of room tour of my son's bedroom once that's done and that'll be the sort of start to my house tour type thing. I'll do it like one room at a time. The next thing I've got is this in my house, which again, you will see. I'm in a real rant today. I don't know. I've got so many things going through my head that I wanted to tell you and I don't know. It's all coming out all jumbled. Um, what was I saying? See, I've lost the plot again, really. Yes, house tour, you will see. I use these pillars and things and different and stands and stuff like that for absolutely everything. I set different things on them. Sometimes I'll set like plates on them. I'll set candles on them. Sometimes I glue like glass bowls and stuff to them. I do all sorts of things with them. I like things on like different levels. This here is just, you could put a candle in it just as is or you could like glue something to the top of it. I just thought it was really pretty. It's very, very plain. My eyes are really keep going over there to make sure I'm showing what I'm showing you, but it means I'm not looking right at you and I am... I can only apologise, uh, this is my first time sort of doing this kind of thing with this camera and I just cannot seem to get used to it, it is going to take me a while. This was £2.95 and I just thought it was nice and I could do lots of things with it and as with most of the stuff in my house, it gets sort of shit, it's got like multi-purpose kind of thing, I use it in different rooms for different things, I get bored and change things about all the time so I'm always doing this. Oh, there's something possibly broken. The next thing I did not get from the charity shop, this was, was from one of the little sort of beach shops. I think it was called Time and Tide or something. It was like a little beachy kind of gift shop thing. And I just thought this was really, really pretty. I think this was like 12 95 or something, but it was reduced to £7. You know me, I love a bargain. And I just thought this was really, really pretty. It is, I didn't realise at the time when I bought it, I thought it was good for £7 for what it was. It's just really, really nice, pretty white and I thought I would put a little candle in it but I didn't realise that if I show you in here it actually comes with one of the little LED candle things and I've not got batteries in it just now it just takes batteries on the bottom but yeah it's on a timer thing so you can have it like time to come on so this would probably be quite nice in the bathroom if you maybe don't want to like light a candle and leave it in there it's just a little battery operated one so I thought this was really nice and probably like everything else I'll have a wee shot in pretty much every room in the house no doubt. And the next thing I got is quite big to show you. I don't know if this is going to be awkward. I'll show you the bottom and then I'll show you the top. It's going to be awkward to get it all on screen. It's got these little feet here. I just thought this was so cute. I think this is maybe like an umbrella stand. I'm not 100% sure. It just is so, so pretty. And in the charity shop that this was from, they were charging crazy prices. Like they were selling a hoodie and I think it was like, what was it, the fifth? £15 or something like that for I think it was a super dry hoodie and it was £15 but it was second hand and I thought that is just a wee bit too much so when I saw this and I thought oh what's the price is going to be crazy it actually wasn't too but oh there's actually something inside here I'll show you this next that's why it was rattling about yeah I'm trying to find the price yes it was what I thought it was it was £4.50 so considering the shop was so expensive I thought this was not too bad and it's quite a big piece and I just thought it was really nice and I might put this by my front door um, and just we can just put our umbrellas or whatever in it. I don't know, I might use it for something else, I don't know, but it's just really pretty. I'll show you the little scenes on here. Just thought that was really, really pretty. And this looks like a to me like an old sort of porcelain plate or something. I just thought it was really, really nice. And it's got a little gold rim around the back. It's just plain black on the inside. So really like that. I've not like washed any of this stuff or even taken the labels off because I thought if I take the labels off there's no way I'll ever remember what the price of things were. Oh, I'll show you the thing that was inside it. Literally it's a brush. It's not very interesting but I don't know if you can see that is. This shows the importance of packaging because had these bristles been black or white or whatever I probably would never have looked at them but because they were rainbow coloured I thought oh I'll have that. That looks interesting. So I got myself this little one and I got my daughter the big sort of paddle one and it's meant to be like a detangling brush but... I was literally just attracted to it because it was rainbow colours basically and I got this in the little old fashioned chemist that was on the high street and this one was 2 99 and I think the one my daughter got was 3 99 which is quite reasonable for a brush. I've not used it yet so she's used her, oh give me one second. Sorry about that, like I said the little laptop, light is connected to the laptop and the laptop screen went black so the light went off. I am so not with it today at all. Well tonight I think it might be about 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock at night. 
This is a little jumper. This is from Primark and it was 2 99 And every time I went into this charity shop, I kept, oh my goodness, I'm catching on the box. Um, yeah, I kept looking at this and it just, I don't know why, it just ca caught my eye every time. And I thought, I'm going, I don't usually go for Primark stuff, but I thought I'm going to get it because I keep looking at it and I really like it. It is not in any way coming off the colour that it is. It is like a muted sort of peachy pink neon colour and it's like, um, it keeps catching on the corner of this cardboard box, I'm sorry. That's what the noise is. But it's like a sort of ombre effect, so it's lighter here and it sort of graduates up and is darker there. And I just really liked the colour of it, I was really attracted to it. And it's just got the little sort of three quarter length sleeves with a little turn up there. And I just really liked it. And for 2 99 that wasn't too bad at all. Next thing I got was this pink t-shirt. I'm really loving my neons lately. This is pink but it's a sort of muted neon. It's got flecks, it's like pale pink and then the little flecks of pink in it are like more neony kind of colour. It's a bit... I don't know, sort of unusual. It's very casual, it's very baggy. Got a little pocket here, slightly longer in the back. Just really sort of soft and easy to fling on and really nice. Be nice like a loose fitting cardigan or something with it as well. This was 2 99 as well and this was from uh, Next. This is from Next and I just thought it was really comfy and cute. Really attracted to pink neon stuff, I don't know why. And I got this, well it was actually Mark that spotted this. I think he really loves that feeling. The day that we spotted this, I had on the pink fluffy cardigan that Mark had got me and he absolutely, every time I'm wearing it, it keeps coming up and cuddling me. You must really love this feeling. So he spotted this and it's the same kind of material, you know, that fluffy, sort of really soft, cuddly material. And this is in mint green and this was from George and this was £4.50, which is a little bit more than I would normally pay. But Mark said, no, you just have to have it because he likes the material and no doubt I'll be getting loads of cuddles when I'm wearing this. The colours are not coming off very well at all. I think it's that light is kind of washing everything out but it is a really nice pretty mint green colour and it is very very cosy. It would go and what, did I see where that was from? Yeah that was from George I'm sure I said that. Next thing oh my goodness next thing are these we're getting near the end of the clothing things. I don't know where this is from it says denim rules by TRR not sure it doesn't have any other sort of name brands or anything on it i don't think nope do not know where that these were from and it's just these pale jeans i really like the pale jeans especially for the summer and they've got this distressing on them but the thing i like about this distressing is it's just on like the front layer of denim so it doesn't go all the way through to the skin because if you look here that would be like quite high up so you'd be showing quite a lot of like the very top of your thigh and i've got another pair of distressed jeans and if I'm wearing them and I sit down, they come up really quite high. So I like the fact that this one here is not like all the way through. And they've got some rips here. These ones are all the way through, but it doesn't matter so much because they're sort of lower down. And I've just turned them up because that's probably how I'd wear them. They're slightly long, but I do like the turn up in the jeans anyway, especially like the distressed ones. I like the look of that. And how much were these? These were 4 49 and I really like them. Looking forward to wearing them. They would look nice with that mint t-shirt, eh, the mint jumper now that I see them next to each other. It looks nice together. I picked this up. This is, I think I've got a couple of things from this brand and it's called The White Company and there was a little shop there that was selling things like brand new, like a new shop, um, one of the kind of fancier kind of shops and they were selling stuff from this brand and the stuff was really, really nice but it was really, really expensive and when I went into the charity shop and saw this for 5 99 I just thought I have to have it. It's in a thousand pieces now and looks like nothing. But it's basically this cotton shirt. I think it's cotton. Yeah, I think it's like a soft cotton. Are you cotton? Do you see what you are? I don't know that it does. Anyway, it's very soft and it's very nice. But it doesn't button all the way down. It's like a... Is that a tunic? I'm not sure. It buttons sort of, I don't know, down to just above your belly button or just I don't know between your belly button and your bust and I just thought I would get a lot of weight out of this it's nice crisp white and it's got three quarter length sleeves and I just thought it could go with so many things it would look so smart you could like wear it smart or casual and I thought I would get a lot of weight out of it and the other top that I got from that company I have absolutely loved the material has been so soft it washes really nicely and I really really like it I think I think we are at the end of all that that's the end of all the clothing things I'm sort of pulling stuff out here and I don't, it's a big high box and I'm just sort of pulling my arm in, putting my arm in and pulling things out so I'm trying not to break things. This here was a little sort of novelty gift thing that I got for my daughter. She saw this in one of the little gift shops and she really, really liked it and my daughter never, 
ask for anything, never wants anything. She's not like the kind of, I want this and I want this and I want this. She hardly ever sees anything she likes or hardly ever wants anything. So when she said she liked this, I went back to the shop and got it for her. It is this little duck. It's actually like a little piggy bank. You can put money in it. And it was £17.60, which is pretty pricey for a little porcelain duck. But like I said, we were on holiday. This was a wee present and she doesn't want for very much at all. It's got a gold crown and a gold beak and you can put the money in here. And it's just really, really cute. She said she's seen people like on YouTube and things with these and I think some people like collect them and stuff. I think you can get them in like all different colours and stuff but it's just really cute and it's going to go in her room. Her room's the next room to get decorated so you'll get a wee tour of that soon because we're going to do like the before and after thing of that as well. This you might think, I've showed this in another haul but this is actually a different one. Remember I said I went into the shop and um, and I got one, I was going to put it at my front door and I said I might go back and get one from my back door. Well I did and I got this one and my daughter actually picked this one out and she, I didn't notice it at the time. But this one has got quite a lot of the gold material in it. It's like all different, even, some of the materials like patterns so it really is so unusual these things. I really really like them. My mum has got a massive one in our living room and I just absolutely love it. But yeah this has got quite a lot of gold stuff and we've got quite a lot of gold um in our house like we've got gold and silver but probably more gold and i just thought that was really nice it's really shimmery and it's got a few more of them sort of up and down it and i thought that was really pretty it's just one of those the same rug as i got before basically but it's got sort of different colors in it and i think i think the price tag has come off this one but i think it was in case you didn't see the other haul i think this was four pound fifty or somewhere around that price and that was out of the shop that i had done a little sort of scan in, in one of my holiday vlogs I showed you a little bit around that shop it was from that shop next thing is this can you hear that things collapsing in the box next thing is this I picked it up from my daughter she didn't say she liked it or anything but as well as a African pygmy hedgehog she also has two tortoises and when I saw this little cute guy look at his little face he's so cute I had to get it for her this was £2.50 and it's just absolutely adorable. It's so cute. Alexander also got like a lot of toys and stuff, but obviously he's played with them and he's said, so they're not in the box to show you, but he got lots of stuff as well. But I just thought this little guy was so cute. He's big eyes. He's just so sweet. So that he's got a really long neck as well. He's just so cute. So that's going to go in her room. And next thing is this. It's from the brand Joma Jewelry London. See, I don't know. It's so awkward to show you. I don't know if you can see that. It's in sort of gold writing there and this was a little bracelet that I saw and I just thought it was ever so sweet they had a lot of different ones I actually think they had like ones for adults and ones for children and this one is one of the ones for children but I have got really 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 ridiculously small kid size wrists so I actually got one of the sort of smaller children's ones but it was that this one that I like the design of and they didn't have this one in the adults one anyway so it worked out quite well I think I'm not sure if the price is on this I think this was £13.95 but the man in the shop said they were silver plated so if I show you here I don't know if you're going to be able to see that is it focusing it's like little silver beads and then it's got a little silver bumblebee on it and I just thought that was so so sweet it says a little honeybee and I just thought the little bumblebee was just so cute and it literally fits my wrist absolutely perfectly like it's really sort of I like them quite neat and don't like them to slide too much and it just fits my wrist absolutely perfectly like the wee things are not stretching or anything it just fits perfectly so I got myself one of the kiddie ones. Oh, and the other thing I got as well while I remember I thought I would forget to show you this in the charity shop I saw these rings in the little jewellery cabinet and I still needed to open them up so I could have a look at them and I got these this one here is my absolute favourite I really really love this it is so dainty and just I don't know it's just really like this one on, on its own it's just you can barely see it it's just so dainty and it's like a little wishbone shape so it goes down in the back and it goes down like that you could wear it like the other way around where the no point is sort of facing that way but I like it like this and it's just so I think it's so dainty and feminine and pretty and this one was I uh, checked out and this one is real silver this one is stamped and then I also got this little one here and this is also sterling silver and it just this one is good because as well as sort of really small wrists I've also got really really small fingers I was surprised that this one fit actually because very rarely can I go into a shop try a ring on and it fit you know especially a chad shop where you don't know the size you've just got to try them on I was really surprised that this one fit in. and this one fits because you can like adjust it like this it's got sort of it's real silver again and it's got I don't know what the pattern is it's got like a silver kind of pattern in it on like a navy blue kind of enamel thing 
I don't know, it's a little bit unusual, but I just thought it was really, really nice. And I do have, I'm allergic to a lot of metals, but silver I'm usually okay with. So I've got these little rings and I've pretty much had these on for the past few days and they've not like broke my hands out or anything. So I'm really pleased with that. And these were £2.99 each. So I thought that was pretty good for silver rings. Let me have a look. The next thing was, I think I mentioned it on the, the lights going off a second. I'm really sorry. There we go. Anyway, um, I'm sorry about this. This video is all over the place. I mentioned it in a vlog that I was going to look at some stuff. It was like all natural stuff. It was all like locally sourced and things. It says made in Scotland from nature's finest ingredients and it's www.edinburghskincare.com and it was just, they were doing like samples and you could try out some of the stuff and stuff like that. Here's the company here. Again, I don't have anything to do with this company. It was literally, they were selling it in a little stall in a shop and I went over and saw, liked it, fell in love with the smell of this. This is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Lavender and Frankincense Anti-Aging Formula and the smell of this is so nice. It's all natural ingredients, no like nasty things or anything in it. And again, it's all sourced locally and it is just gorgeous. The smell alone is just gorgeous. You can see I've not actually tried this one. I tried a sample of the one in the shop, but it is lovely. Really, really nice. And I think this was, it was either £15 or £15.50, somewhere around that kind of price. And it's just, I've not tried it out yet, like on my face. I've tried it on the back of my hand and stuff, but it, the smell is really what sold me on it. It seems a little bit pricey, but you're actually getting quite a lot there for your money. Like this is a pretty good sized little jar and anti-aging stuff, as you know, is pretty pricey. And I like, you know, when you're on holiday and you're like trying things and you buy things, splurging things you maybe wouldn't normally. So I'm excited about trying this. I was keeping it all in here to show you. So I've not tried any of this. I've not even washed the clothes or anything. I'm usually, when I've been to child shop, desperate to bring it home and wash it, but I was saving it for you guys. So that's why I I haven't washed any of it this box is getting deeper oh no I have one more clothing thing it is just this it's nothing fancy it is this t-shirt by Hollister little v-neck navy blue t-shirt and it says Hollister so you can see the hold on a second here this is awkward navy blue it scoops down at the neck and a v-neck and it sort of cuts off the word Hollister but it's a little Hollister t-shirt very 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 soft cotton just easy to chuck on with a pair of jeans and this was £2.99 I'm pretty sure that is the end of the clothing thing I did get a material thing but it's not a clothing thing picked this up and it was in one of the charity shops and I bought quite a lot of things and I thought instead of buying a plastic bag I would buy one of the bags they were selling and it's this reusable bag I'm sure there's a brand or something on it it is a really really lovely lovely bag I'm sure it said something on it about being handmade and I'm sure they probably sold it in one of the wee sort of bougie shops but it's absolutely just the handiest thing ever it folds up to next to nothing and it's just, see, the simple things that I'm pleased with. All, out of all of this stuff, this is probably one of my most favourite. It's just a little cotton bag, but it's so long. You can fit so much stuff in here. And a lot of them have got short handles. And as you know, I don't really like carrying things with short handles. I like having the option to put it over. And this is long enough that it, you can really put it over like that comfortably. And you can carry all your stuff. So I was carrying all my charity shop goodies around in that. And that was a pound. And I'll use that again. I'll tuck it up in my handbag and use it again. I'm going to take this stuff out. There's some stuff in here and then the things that they're in, I have to show you as well. I'm looking in the wrong bit again. I know I am. I'm so sorry. I'm probably driving everybody crazy. I will practice. I'll, practice. I'll try and practice a little bit more. This is literally the first time I've done this. So I will get better. Hopefully, I promise. I'm sorry. Um, this is the Faith in Nature Green Tea and Aloe Vera Natural Deodorant. I'd mentioned before, we got this out of the little shop that I got the rug and things out of. I'd mentioned before that I tried Lush deodorant. It was like more natural thing. I think it was like a powdered kind of thing. It didn't agree with me. I didn't personally like it. I didn't really feel confident when I was wearing it. My daughter also tried it and she didn't really like it either. So when we were in that shop, this we picked this up. It's basically the same kind of idea, except this is a liquid and not a powder. And it's just an all natural deodorant. And my daughter absolutely loves green tea. She drinks it every single day. And this was 3 99 which is actually cheaper than the Lush one. I think the Lush one was £4.50 or £5 or something around that price, so it's slightly cheaper. She's not tried it yet, so I can't tell you if it works or if it's any good. And the next thing, I've kind of forgotten some of the things I've got because I'm like, I just picked this up and I'm like, I really couldn't tell you what's in here. I completely forgot what's in here. So we'll get to see this at the same time. Oh, I remember now. Uh, there are these little 
coat hook things like this these actually came in pairs so there was another one of these another one like this these ones are all different so there was like six of them and there was three pairs so I don't we didn't I didn't want them to matchy matchy I wanted like the three different ones so I split them with my mum so she's got the three different ones and I've got three different ones so she's got the pairs to all of these if that makes any sort of sense but they're these little coat hooks and they've got these little blingy gels just little coat hooks like that they can they've got a the little bit at the back that you can hang them on the wall and this one looks like this I don't know if that's focusing that one looks like this this one looks like this that's pretty. I thought that one's like kind of like a flower. They've got a kind of vintage look about them. I think what I'll probably do is paint this hook, maybe with like chalk paint or something, because I think the hook is like more like chrome than silver, and so it doesn't really fit in with the antique thing. But if this bit was painted and you just did the sort of gem bit at the top, these look to me like kind of vintage brooches. So I thought it would be pretty if I paint this and then just leave this. So I might do that. And the last one looks like this. So my mum's got a set that are the same as this as well and these were £1.75 for the pairs of each so each pair was £1.75 so I'm running out of space beside me next thing I got just pretty plain this was a pound it's just a little gold sort of plate thing like a I got it for setting a candle on I like I really like leading things so as well as the pillars like everything every candle every everything's got to be sitting on things sometimes I've got trays on top of trays and then pillars and I just you see what I mean in the house tour I just love like leading things so I got this just to set a little candle on and again it's the gold so it'll go in my house and the next thing I got well two things because there's one inside are just these little storage tabs they've got these lovely lilac beads all over them and they're really really shiny and pretty they're absolutely gorgeous. I didn't realise till I got back to the holiday cottage that they were, I could smell, they were in a bag and I could smell like a sort of funny smell coming from somewhere and it turned out it was these. So these have been scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. I put them in a sink of hot soapy water and they've been scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed. I don't know what the smell was. I don't know if somebody maybe had put some sort of food thing in it or something. I don't know. There was no marks on them or anything but these have been like scrubbed. I even put a little bit of bleach in the water so these are definitely super super clean and these don't have the price on them because I scrubbed them but I'm pretty sure these were three pound for the two of them so like £1.50 each and this one's just slightly bigger than this one and I just thought they were really pretty and I love all sorts of storage things and things that you can put things in. I'm having to put that down there because I'm running out of room. I think we're nearly done. Next two things are not anything I can really show you. They're just bars of soap. I'm not going to open them because I don't want them getting all like yucky but they're bars of soap that I got from that little shop that I got the rug and all that from and the deodorant and stuff from and these smell amazing. Oh they're so lovely this one's coconut and this one's lavender and they're again like the other things from the shop they're all natural and oh, real eco products they're absolutely they're just so nice i also that are not in there i've just remembered that they're up the stairs because i've been burning them i bought some incense sticks you know they always have incense sticks in those sorts of shops and i bought some of a different fragrance one i'd never tried before and i think it was oh i can't rem remember the ambrosia i think it was ambrosia and oh my goodness it smells so nice sometimes i don't like the smell of incense i can find it a little bit choky but that one's really nice when it burns it's a very it's almost like a kind of soapy smell actually like a really clean fresh smell and it's absolutely lovely and i'm so excited about using these they really smell so good next thing little bubble wrap thing again i can't remember what's in here oh i remember now i can see them this was, I don't know, really know why I picked these up. I'm not even sure how much they are. I don't think they've still got their price tag on them, do you? No. These are just cute. There's a little set of them. It's going to be so awkward to show you them at the same time. Hold on and I'll try and move stuff about. So there's a little daddy one. Little mummy one. Little Davina one. And little Alexander one. And these were all sitting in a little row. They're like porcelain little chickens I don't know I just thought they were ever so cute and there's literally one for each of us so I'm going to put these in my kitchen and I can't remember how much they were I think they were around about sort of two or three pound that kind of price but I just thought they were really really cute and sweet and they'll go in my kitchen so I got them I don't know why really I'm trying to I think we're down to the last sorry about this 
I think we're down to the last few things. They were selling these, loads of these, in the shop. These are brand new and they were only 25 pence each and they were in the charity shop, all like still in their boxes and everything. Sorry, I've got it. It's just right there, sorry. This has got to be the most unprofessional, not that I'm ever professional, but this has got to be the worst video. The most unprofessional, jumpy, going in the boxes, bending down there, looking in the wrong lens. I am so sorry. Anyway, take a deep breath. I want to get this up so that I can do the holiday vlogs and this will be like the last sort of holiday thing. And like I said, I'll put a clip in at the end, but I'll explain about that. And so that I can then get to sort of back to real life and show you the things that we're doing now like my son's bedroom so I'm excited about showing you that we're in the middle of doing it right now so really excited about getting up to date so I really want to get this up so that that can be sort of the end of all the holiday vlog things anyway big rant again this is going to be a very long video it says keep them dry and it's a W7 is the brand thing there and it is just I thought it was a waterproof mascara, but it's actually a waterproof mascara top coat. So you put your mascara on and then you put this on and it makes it waterproof. This to me is a really good idea. There's the light gone up again. One second, sorry. Just when you think I can't get unprofessional enough, I have to lean over and put the light on. Oh, again, sorry. Anyway, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to just keep going. I could have stopped about a hundred times in this. I was thinking in my head, just stop. Just, just stop. This is awful. Just stop. But I'm going to keep going. Anyway, keep them dry. Waterproof mascara, top coat. You put this on the top of your thing, which is really good because one of my favourite mascaras is not waterproof. And you put it on and you literally get like transfer under your eyes and also on here. So you've got like the little lines where your eyelashes touch up here. And it's a shame because I really like the effect of it on my eyes. So saw this thought it would be a good idea picked it up it was 25 pence that was a long explanation as to a 25 pence top coat mascara thing we're nearly done i promise you we're nearly done next things i got was in that little chemist that i got the brush from and they are these they are the la colors create la colors craze gel extreme shine gel nail polish I love these, cannot say enough good things about them, have tried them, painted my nails with them in holiday and have painted my nails with them since. I'll show you them in order. This one here is in the colour Mademoiselle and it's like a, a like a purpley nude I would describe it as. This I think would go with pretty much everything, it's just like that nice purpley kind of nude colour. I've actually got it on my nails just now actually, I can show you what it looks like on. Can you see the shine on that? That is super, super shiny, like really shiny. I just realised in all the things I've been showing you, I keep putting it over there like towards the screen thing, when really I should be holding it here right in front of you to the lens thing. Just, I think, 32 minutes long this is, that just realised that now. Oh my goodness, and then I just realised there that I've got a clip to put on at the end of this, so this is really going to be a long video. Anyway, yes, this is in the shade Mademoiselle, really like it. Again, super, super, super shiny, really nice, just wears really well and looks really nice. I, this is not, I don't even have a top, can you see the shine on that? I don't even have a top cotton with this, so I've never seen this here, but I'm going to look out for it because I'd like to get more colours. I also picked up the colour, what colour are you, Damsel, and this is like a lilac, just a nice lilac pretty colour it's really really nice and this i think would look really nice any time of year i actually like dark nail polishes in the summer i don't know why i know my nails are not painted that dark just now but i actually am attracted to dark colours in the summer so i wear light colours i just i don't really follow any sort of fashion thing or anything if i am ever in trend like on trend or in trend or it's a coincidence because i just wear what i want when i want to this is in the colour Aura and it is this neon pink colour but like a soft sort of neon pink colour. This would go very nicely with the pink neon sort of muted neon t-shirt thing. This is really pretty. I've not used this one. This is I've used the lilac one and I've used this one. I like this one so much that I painted my nails this colour, took it off and then repainted them that colour and I just love it. I must really like a nail polish to do that because I get bored really, really quickly. And to do that, I must really, if I, that might be the only time I've ever done that, but really, really like this nail polish and excited about trying this colour because loving neons. And I think, are we done? So that is us done. So now at the end of this, I'm going to have to explain it because if I don't explain it, you're going to think, what on earth is that? On holiday, we always have a laugh and stuff with the kids. So on holiday this time, what we were doing was we were trying to give the kids frights. I think we even got, gave my mum a fright. I think we even got her at one point. And Mark 
gave me a fright and we managed to catch some of them on camera. The kids also gave us frights. They got me pretty good, honestly. My heart was racing. And, but they didn't get it on camera because they didn't know how to set the camera up. So them giving us frights, we haven't got on camera, but there's some of us giving them frights. And I think Mark and I got my mum and Mark got me, but there's none of like the kids giving us frights. So it, it wasn't one side. It wasn't just like us trying to give the kids frights. We were all having a laugh and we were all kind of doing it, but they couldn't set the camera up to catch it. But I just thought it was funny. It, we just filmed it basically so that we could sit down with the kids when we got home and sort of have a laugh with them and stuff which we have done we were all killing ourselves laughing watching them and i just thought it would be fun to sort of put them in at the end as like an end to the sort of holiday vlogs and it would just be kind of fun i was laughing at it and i hope you kind of think it's funny too so i just thought i would put it in for you so that is me done that is the end of all the holiday vlogs all the holiday haul everything completely done i'm pretty sure i think that is absolutely everything so i'm going to start like i said I'll have a video up of a vlog and then the next one after that will probably be my son's sort of room tour so and then that will start my sort of house tour because a few people have asked me to do a house tour so we'll start that anyway so i'm sorry for the big long video and the looking in the wrong lens and all the nonsense sorry about that anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you later hope you enjoy the clips bye all right we're just getting we'll ready we're just this. getting ready to go out for our walk <laughs> Alexander, stop! stop. Oh. <laughs> that was Mark giving the kids a fright. Cupboard, please. Yeah, you got it. Clean the film. Where is it? In that cupboard. Uh, in case of fire one. Yeah.